Sam, thanks for taking the time, man. We appreciate it. Uh, I saw you during Game 7 uh, of the Bruins series, and I asked you about a goal you had scored in that game. And in the interview, you said you blacked out a little bit because you really <laughs> remember it. Do you remember this one? You've had a night to sleep on it. Uh, and how good did it feel to score that one? Um, that, that one felt pretty good. I, I, if I, <laughs> that one was a little early in the period, and I think a lot had happened since. Um, <laughs> In, in the game and, and, and wasn't really thinking about it too much, but um, definitely able to remember this one. Hey, Sam, on that play, you take this, like, kind of long kind of chip out from uh, Aaron Ekblad, and then you get the puck. A lot of guys want to just, just chip the puck in in that situation. You held on to the puck. I mean, what was going through your mind at that moment? Did you just feel like you had – they there was not, like, a hard press on you there, so you had time to hold on to it? Yeah, I, I think I made one move and was able to, to, to buy a little bit of time. And uh, I knew Lundy was, was, was coming on late. So, um, you know, was just trying to, to hold it a little bit and enter with, with any bit of control. And um, he made a good job handling the, handling the rim there and um, getting the puck back down to me. All right, I want to take you back to game five of that Bruins series, okay? What a shock. Well, I, I need to ask you this. I know you didn't black out on this. You're on the ice with 7.7 .7 seconds remaining in regulation, and you and your line, and there's a face-off that I maybe, I don't know if you thought you won or the team won, and it ends up being a breakaway for Brad Marchand going the other way. What were you thinking there? Because <laughs> that became such a huge moment in the series, basically. Could have obviously gone the other way for you guys. Yeah, I mean that, that, that's kind of the, the the things Bobby's been doing as of late. Um, you know, it, it, it seems like there's probably 50 plays, um, you know, from January to this point that that uh, you know could have sent us home. So um, you know, we're we're just living day by day right now, and um, you know, focus focus on the present. But um, that was that was obviously a big one and and a critical moment for us. Well, being focused on the present uh, has certainly worked for yeah. you guys uh, over the last handful of games. Uh, you know, I, I've only spent one game around your team in this postseason, but you guys seem very loose. Your head coach seems very loose. Yeah. Everybody is is kind. Of, there's a very there's a certain energy that's sort of coming off of your squad right now. Has it been that way the whole postseason? And and if not, like when did you start to sense a bit of a change where you guys were starting to gel and going, hang on, you know what? Mm -hmm. We ain't done. Yeah, I, I think, you know, it was just kind of built over time. Um, you know, I, I, I think game one, um, you know, even though we lost, we were able to gain some confidence, um, you know, and really that belief that, that you know, hey, we are, we are able to, to, to win, um, you know, against an opponent like Boston. And then, um, you know, when, when you knock off a team like that, you just slowly gain that confidence um, and, you know, we, we really have been living day by day, so it's been it's been pretty fun doing it. And, and, and every day it seems like a new guy step it up. So, um, you know, the, 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 the timing on on some goals is, is, has been huge and really important for our group. You know, you guys have had to play some really high intensity hockey now going back into the regular season. Obviously, that that give and take with the Bruins over seven games. You're through three games here. These have been tight games. I mentioned today to Jackie, I mean, the Leafs and the Panthers have played five games going back over the last month, and they've all been really tight battles. You guys have won four of them. I guess they, they were able to win a game in overtime in the regular season. But I guess the question I have is you had an extra, a little bit of an extra break in between games two and three. How important was that for you guys just because you have been on such a kind of grind. I know guys like that uh, every other day kind of mentality, but it seems like for you guys that extra day probably wasn't a bad thing. Yeah, like you said, it, it can kind of go both both ways. Um, sometimes that extra day when, when you've been in, in, in a rhythm for so long, day, day in, day off, um, you know, that, that extra day kind of takes you out of a little bit, but, you, you know, I think that was an important time for us and and uh, you know to to re-energize a little bit, um, you know, and mentally it's 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 so draining as well. So um, you know we've we've been doing a good job of of taking advantage of uh, every little opportunity of of, of rest we've we've been able to get. So um, you know, have 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 another break right now. So looking forward to to another couple of days here and, and getting back to it. One of the things that has been I guess fun to watch your team play, Sam, is just. The systems are simple. I mean, it's really about 
hard work and it's smarts and, and the four check, it's taking away walls and using the like back of the net like you did on the on your game winning goal last night. How how has that made a difference? These systems for your team and, and it, I, I watch it and I call it simple hockey, but it's hard nosed hockey. It's hard work hockey. So how much fun has that been to play in this style in this system? It's it's been awesome. Um, you know, I, I, I touched on it a while ago. Um, you know, it, it, it seemed like when, when Paul first came, um, you know, the systems came easy for us for, for, for those first couple of weeks that we battled through much of adversity. And, uh, you know, we, we had been able for, for the last couple of months to really buy into that again and, and, and find our confidence in, in, in the game that him and the, the coaching staff are, are a preacher out of us. So, you know, as, as, as you start to get a little, you know, a few more results, it's just that confidence grows and grows. So, um, you know, we're all bought in. You know, we had Brian Boyle on the show last week, and he talked about the idea that once you start, you know, playing in more playoff games, you learn that, you know, what was good enough in, in round one isn't good enough in round two, and you have to constantly kind of get better throughout the journey. You were on this team last year where the second round didn't go so well. What, what, did, you, what did you take away from the experience last year? I guess what did you learn about postseason hockey through that experience last year that you think maybe is paying off this year? Quite quite a bit, and and obviously obviously learning a lot more this year, um, you know of, of, of what it takes. Um, you know, I, I I think you look at the teams that have won it in the past, and 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 you know especially the past five ten years or so as as, as the game evolves, um, you, you you try and learn from them, and um, you know obviously we we took a bit of a whooping last year against Tampa, um, but I mean with with with, with that being said. Right away, you you thought, oh, well, we want to, you know, the, the first couple of games we could have swung in our favor, and it would have been a different series. But that's also the the, the kind of game um, they wanted to play, and, and and they were a lot more comfortable in it. So, um, you know, I I, I think it would took took a long year of us getting comfortable in 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 our game plan, and um, you know, it was all to 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 be comfortable in this uh, in, in situations like we've been in and um, the last couple. Sam, how's the uh, how's it been there at the FLA uh, Live Arena? Because I know we have these original six interlopers from Boston and Toronto <laughs> that you know come down there. They try to buy up tickets. They're wise guys. We know they're wise guys. But like, what what is it like in the building? Because those Panther fans, they showed up yesterday and they were they were revved up as well. They're they're loud. They've they've been awesome all all season long. Um, you know, it's 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 not too often in, in, in a postseason you get on the road for a week, a week and a half that long that that, that we were away. So um, we really enjoyed getting back in front of them last night. I was going to ask you about that. You went from one series to the next. How did that go for you? I mean, you've been on long road trips before in your career, but this is a a different one, and I'm I'm assuming it was a, a lot of clothes. Uh, well, well, a lot <laughs> of clothes. <closing. laughs> Maybe not a lot, but th this was probably one where you were probably very happy to go from one city in Boston right up to Toronto. Yeah, absolutely. It was it was just that that same rhythm we'd been in. Um, you know, we didn't have to change our our game too much. It was just that day off and 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 right back to it. And um, sometimes that's the easiest way to do it. All right, this is a, more of a fun one for me. I talked about the looseness of your group. Obviously, in the playoffs, everyone gets a little more tense. Everything's a little tighter. Stakes are higher. But, like, who on the team keeps it light? Like, who comes in and, and just at the right moment, like, makes things feel a little bit lighter uh, over the course of, you know, what is essentially a real grind for you guys? Who in the room kind of keeps everybody laughing? I, I, we, we got quite a few guys. We, we, have no, we have no issues with, with, with keeping it light, especially in when, when the games get tighter. Um, I mean, you look at a guy like Ch Chucky, who's as, as vocal as everyone, as anyone I've, I've seen. Um, you got a guy like Montour. Um, both Stahl brothers are, are vocal, keep it light. So, um, you know, there, there, there's a number of guys throughout the room that, uh, that are always chatting. I heard Bobrovsky is funny. Ali Lozov reported oh, that last really? night. That, that Bob good. apparently is now he's laughing. Yeah, so it's gotta go. be true. It's gotta be true. Solid reporting yeah, from Ali Lozov. Like like uh, yeah, that's not bad. Not as much during the game, but but pregame skates, practices, 
Bob's a character out there. <laughs> so what do you so what do you got? Like you have the extra day off. Now I know you're gonna rest as much as you can, but I mean, is there anything you guys do between games? Like when you have an extra day off, can you just go out and maybe just go and sit by a pool or I mean you have nice weather down there? What yeah. what goes on in that extra time off? Yeah, a little nap in the sun never hurt. Uh go out for <laughs> dinner. Uh it's 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 a little bit easier enjoying the day knowing you, you don't have a game the next day for sure. Well, I know you're originally from Vancouver area correct but uh, you, you know there's a lot of people in Canada from across the country that do love the Maple Leafs did you get some fun or funky calls before this series uh, about the Leafs or was everybody rooting for you considering that uh, you're from the west coast um it's it seems 50 50 um I mean, there's there's two guys over there from my same hometown, so mm -hmm. um, you know a lot of the similar friend friend groups. So um, when they're talking to me, it's all Panthers. Well, the people <laughs> the people that are on the on the wrong side of those comments, you should just send them a video of your goal after yeah, last no. night. <laughs> but uh, Sam, thank you for the time. Uh, we appreciate you yeah. hopping on. We know it's a busy time of year for you, so uh, thanks again and best of luck the rest yeah. of the way. Of course, anytime. Thanks for having me.